your equilibrium off. The things you don't understand, they are, they, they are by divine ordination. They're not just happening. God's going to get some glory out of them Amen. in the long run. But here's what you got to do. This is what we call a shortage. You got to stay until it happens. Amen. You can't get mad if it don't happen in six months. You can't walk away. If you trust God, you got to stay through the change. Because in the change, he is changing you. In right. all your uncomfortability, he's changing you for something that he's preparing for your other head. But you can't quit. Let me pray for you right now. I feel the Holy Ghost. Squeeze your neighbor's hand so they can know you're praying for them. Oh, glory to God. You feel God's anointing? Righteous Father. Father, we come this morning. I stand before your people and your truth. Father, not for form or fashion. Not to sound deep, not to be deep. Father, I stand sincerely seeking your throne. On behalf of the children, we have genuine love. Father, I thank you for your word. And I pray, Father, that you, you release grace. That grace may abound towards us in our hearts and our minds. That we would have a commitment, a conviction. That whenever you change something, that we will embrace it. We'll give you the glory and we'll walk forward in it. Father, I pray that you grant grace this morning, that we will make a decision in those things that we must change, we will change. I pray that you grant grace this morning. Hallelujah. To let us know that we have the power to change and we have the right to change. Father, into every heart right now, I ask you to speak. Let them know they have the right to change you. Let them know they have the power to change you. Let them know that their victory is secure. I'm asking you, Father, that, you, that grace would abound towards his people. That great change could be in our life. And that we would endure the changes that we're going through and give you the glory in the midst of it. In Jesus' name, if you agree, say amen. amen. In Jesus' name, if you agree, say amen. amen. All who agree, drop your neighbor's drop your hands. Clap your hands and give God the biggest praise you ever gave him in all your life. Make up your mind that I'm going to change. I'm coming out of this. I'm not going to live here no more. I'm coming out of this mess. I'm not going to stay here no more. I deserve more. I need more. I want more. I'm coming out. May I have to leave my mama. May I have to leave my daddy. May I have to leave my sickness. May I have to leave my friend. I'm coming out. If you've been here this morning before we go through our offering, I feel God's power and money. If you're in this sanctuary this morning, God sent you here. And I want you to understand that God does not make mistakes. I'm asking you this morning, if you're not saved, to give God a chance. It's not about your friends, not about these church folks, not about nobody looking at you. This is a divine decision that you must make. You don't have to change nothing tomorrow. You do nothing have to change right away. It's a divine decision that you must make. That I want to be in Christ. I want to be saved. I want to be on this journey of eternal life in Christ. If I'm talking to you this morning, I ask you to step out your, your seat and come up front. Acknowledging that I want to be saved. If you're with somebody who's not saved, I want you to ask them. If you talk to me, I'll walk with you. Sometimes people need a little help. I need help getting up. I want you to ask somebody, if he's talking to you, I'll walk with you. I'll go with you up there. I don't want you to miss this opportunity. So I'll walk with you up there. There's nothing to be ashamed about, nothing to be embarrassed about. Here I have praise in that. Because heaven rejoices when one comes to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah! 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 I wish somebody can have me here because somebody did that thing. I wish somebody understood the significance of salvation and give God the highest praise. So if no one comes to Christ, let, let, let the Holy Ghost draw us in. Before I go any further, I'm going to say it again one more time. If you've been here, you've never been saved. Glory to God. If you've been here, you've never been saved. If you've been to the sanctuary and you've been coming here and you've been visiting and God is saying, I want you to be a part of genuine love, we'd be happy to receive you right now for membership. 
you never joined the church, you've been coming, you want to be a part of the ministry, we'd be happy to have you right now. Amen. Come on, give God praise. Amen. Give God praise, gentlemen. Y'all give God praise. Come on, give him praise. I know it's only a remnant of us right now, but it's how God works. If a remnant of people who came to church today, God is showing the power of his glory. I need all our young people to jump on their feet and give God praise in this sanctuary this morning.